Okay, let me get this shirt. <laughs> Either they don't know, don't show, I don't care about it in the hood. <laughs> now you telling the meaning behind that. Cause you know I don't wear a t-shirt and I got a hundred of them. But I had to do this one for you. <laughs> Had to do it for the kids. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> Whenever you see the camera. Whenever you see the camera. It's broken. That yeah. Serious about it. Broken. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to tell y'all about that shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's not your room. <laughs> huh? It's your room. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. yeah. You got your TV, your game. You got your own closet now. Your own closet. You got your shoes on the wrong feet though. so happy to see his brother. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Uh, we got some shoe cleaners. And those like for me? Yes. Oh. Got everybody here. Let me see. Not only do I have a shoe rack, but I also got a clothes rack to hang out my clothes. So. Super excited about that. Grandma Donna came through. I'm gonna see how this hat rack looks and if it's something that I like, cause I do have a five in the theme that I'm going with. I ain't let nobody interrupt that. Cause this is my room, y'all. It's crazy looking right now still. We got work to do. Watching Gracie's corner, Amir still got his little spot. But yeah, man, we gonna get it together, y'all. So stay tuned. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, man, we here in Greenville, South Carolina for a family reunion. The kids are here. Grandma Donna came, but she went to hang out with her partner in crime. So it's just the kids, myself, and Tom Ethel. Got my shirts, just gotta go pick up the family reunion shirts. And just, we got a drone. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to show y'all my tools a little later. Got a whole tool kit for the home inspection and just other stuff too. So <laughs> tool kit on deck, gotta show y'all that. But yeah, right now we in the line, about to get some Culver's, ready to eat. Even though we are going to a cookout and there's gonna be more food, but we just gonna eat Culver's and then probably eat at the cookout too. Well, or the thing is, is tell them why we got the Culver's. Because the uh, schedule said three o'clock, and apparently now it's one o'clock, but it's all good. Either way, we done paid for the food. These people done started. Well, we didn't pay for the food, but the food is about to get started, so we don't want to just dash off. And everybody's hungry now, so by the time we take to get to the cookout and all that good stuff, we just gonna eat now. And then we're gonna link up with everybody and do all the cookout, family reunion stuff, and get back on the road and go home. No. So yeah. Get this food, get our little ticket and whatnot. I'll let y'all show it.
What up, y'all? So we made it back from Greenville. Family reunion was cool. We only stayed for a day. Um, we ended up not doing the whole weekend because as you know, Tommy is pregnant. So the whole weekend and the hotel and all that stuff, it, it just wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have made sense logistically. So we just decided to come back home. Um, Grandma Donna and Koi left this morning. Um, Tommy is asleep, so Amir and I are going to run some errands. We have some stuff that we have to do. Gotta go to Home Depot, gotta wash this truck. At some point I gotta wash the car as well. We gotta pick up some little things, like we don't have a trash can with the top on it in the kitchen, so we gotta get that knocked out. Um, also little knickknacks, we need little snacks at the house, peanut butter and jelly. Um, we also need food as well, so I'm gonna just knock all that out because I'm not tired. Um, Amir's probably gonna go to sleep. Amir's sleep now. So yeah, you know, it's just gonna be a daddy and Amir day again. And yeah, man, I wish Koi could have came with us, but he was just so, so, so ready to get back home and play with his little cousin and stuff. So can't be mad at that. Anyways, we about to do what we do, run these little errands, and of course I'm taking y'all with me because I feel like I've been neglecting y'all, man. I gotta make sure that I get y'all some stuff. Otherwise, this video is gonna be trash. So yeah, let's just go. We rolling with Kirk today. Wow, look at this, y'all. Wow. <laughs> From the time we got to one parking lot to another, we really didn't go that far at all. Let me show y'all. Walmart is over there. We're over here. And this is the effect. I gotta clean my boy up, man. It's hot. <laughs> Alright, so we're rolling through the car wash right now. The car wash is so relaxing, man. The lights color and changing and all that good stuff. We're getting a manager special. And I actually got a um, 2.1, so I'm going to come back at some point in time and bring the car. Because I desperately need to wash and clean that one as well. Um, turn that down. It's hot, y'all. It is hot, 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 hot. Trying to be productive, man, while the wife is asleep, get some stuff done. And I miss y'all, man. Like, as crazy as it sounds, I really feel like we have a personal connection, even though I don't know everyone that's watching these videos. I know I have at least 36 consistent people, and I really, really, really appreciate them, man. Like, and then the people that come through and check, I appreciate y'all too. I'm not gonna go on that whole spiel, but I said all of that to say, man, like I really enjoy talking to y'all. So much so, that when I'm not vlogging, I feel like I'm not talking to my people. And it's so weird, I can't really explain it, but you know, um, so anyways, the other day, man, I was just sitting, thinking, doing like a self-analysis, checking on myself and my mental and everything, because the past few months, a lot has been going on, and, you know, I came to the realization that I'm not as smart as I think I am. You know, I've been studying and listening and talking to a lot of people, and there's a lot of really, really, really wise people out there that play the game of life, like chess. You know what I'm saying? And you have grandmasters and you have masters and you know, there's a ranking system. And for a long time, I thought that when it comes to playing the game of life, I'm a grandmaster. 
that? No, nah, that's not. I just had to double check. And so, you know, I was thinking I'm a grandmaster, and I'm nowhere near a grandmaster. And nothing embarrassing happened or anything like that. You know, I was just looking at people and observing their game. And I realized that they're not just thinking one or two steps ahead. They're thinking 10, 11 steps ahead, like playing out full scenarios. And, you know, I was thinking, I'm good at maybe three, four steps ahead, you know, just playing in back and forth. I can get three or four steps, you know. But there's people out here really playing the game 10 steps ahead. And, you know, it sounds simple. And, you know, people say it all the time to where it seems oversaturated. But y'all, there are really people that can think strategically in multi layers, like, and that's just so in depth. And I was just thinking, you know, man, I gotta be a lot more humble. I gotta submit to myself and submit to, you know, other people in a sense of being able to meet people where they are and deal with them on that level. And, you know, even to the point where if there's somebody that's way more advanced than me, and they're taking me on a ride, at least being able to acknowledge and understand that they are taking me on a ride. And that's half the battle. If you understand that you're on somebody's chessboard, you can decide or figure out, you know, the best possible outcome for you. And it may not necessarily be a win, but even still, you know, that loss could lead to a win later on down the line. Um, you know, I like talking in movies and trying to build connections that way. So you think about in game when Doctor Strange not in game it started with Infinity War um, yeah when Doctor Strange was saying you know I had to give him the stone because there's like only one scenario where we win and he understood that Thanos had all the power bruh like there was nothing he could do except one thing and that required him to lose so it wasn't the outcome that they wanted you know what I'm saying but it led to a much better outcome to where they eventually won. And that's what I'm trying to get with my game in terms of dealing with people, man. Understanding that I may take a loss and this loss may hurt, but this loss will set me up for a win later on down the line. I don't like losing at all. And people think that's a good thing, but it's actually a bad thing because it makes you emotional. It clouds your judgment and your thinking, you know what I'm saying? And so... I'm learning now to lose in the short term in order to win in the long term. I'm willing to take a hit today that I wouldn't have took yesterday because I know the hit today may potentially open up for tomorrow. And I think that's a really big step, man. And I know a lot of y'all, I'm probably talking over y'all head. So, you know, if you feel like I'm just rambling and mumbling on, I totally understand. But if you get it, you get it. You know what I'm saying? And that's who I'm talking to. So, yeah, I'm about to vacuum out this car, this truck real quick. Um, Amir is asleep, so it is what it is. I'm gonna vacuum out this truck, get it clean. I'm gonna probably come back later, bring the car. And there's a little spot over here. Maybe take the fam out to eat. I don't know. We're gonna see, but you know, we got options. This is a very beautiful day. It's hot, but it's beautiful. So I'm gonna vacuum out this car and I'm gonna let y'all in a second. Let me turn it this way so I'm not looking directly into the. All right, y'all, so the reason that I went to Lowe's was because I had to grab some tools, of course. Um, here's the thing. A lot of you guys know I'm in the construction business. Um, work for a custom home builder. Currently in the process of getting my home inspector's license so I can, um, you know, maneuver around a little bit. But the reason I'm hollering at y'all and the reason I went to Lowe's is because my brother, man, I gotta shout out my guy, Jay, man. He got me the uh, DeWalt impact drill. And so the thing about power tools, which is crazy, I never knew this until I really, really, really got into construction. So people look at power tools the same way, you know, you look at sneakers or, you know, it can get very, very snobby in the um, construction world or a carpentry weld, or however you want to describe it. Anyways, this is the drill that we had at the house. And as I was learning more about construction and the tools that people use, I learned that this is like, like, you know, like if I showed up at the job site with that, they would have latched me out the room because it's like, yo, is that even a real brand? Like, we don't know what Blue Ridge is. It's like the, um, it came from Target, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stunt 
at a sneaker ball with some Target shoes, I guess you could say. But the wall is like one of your, the wall is like your Nike or your Adidas or, you know, the New Balance or something like that. One of the more respectable sneaker brands that people roll with. So he gave me this, like, yo, man, I know you're trying to get on your feet, blah, blah, blah. Here, take this. And I'm like, man, but it didn't have any bits. So I went to um, Lowe's to buy a drill bit set. So now I got my drill, I got my drill bits, and you know what I'm saying? We gonna, and usually the thing is, it's like you try to stick with one brand. So like, if you have a DeWalt, tool then you usually want to get nothing but the walk kind of like if you have on a nike shirt you don't want to wear adidas pants you don't really cross brands like that so you know you got the dewalt drill and there's like a whole bunch of dewalt power tools and then you also have cobalt which is another one of the higher end brands so cobalt is another one and so he also gave me this and I don't even think he was paying attention because he gave me a brand new one too. So he gave me two of the exact same thing. So I got to send one of them back. I'll probably mail it to him, which is crazy. But this is a laser and infrared thermometer. Also gave me a little punch bag, a cobalt punch bag. See, I told you it can get very, very snobby depending on what you know. So then we got the cobalt punch bag to knock out little things. Also, handed me a drone like to get aerial shots of roofs and things like that so shout out to my brother man like that's crazy i didn't expect all of that and then we also got the dewalt bag you know like i said it gets very very snobby like if you pop up with a bunch of dewalt products people will look at you it's like if you go on the basketball court and you got the Nike headband with the Nike armbands, even though people don't really wear that stuff no more, but you got the Nike jersey and the Nike basketball shorts and you got on some Nike sneakers, you know, people look at you like, oh man, you know, it is what it is. That's kind of what it's like if you pop up at the job and you have a bunch of DeWalt tools or you have a bunch of Cobalt tools. So, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of the vibe that's going on here, so. I think I'm about to buy a whole bunch of power tools, man. Like, we got the garage and stuff, so, you know, I might have to work on that as well. Just be power tooled up. But, you know what I'm saying? It, it's really, like, when you have a collector's mindset, it's just, you got to collect everything. It's kind of, I don't know, man. So, I got the, ball, the wall and cobalt, so we're going to see. But, yeah, man, I'm just super grateful for this stuff. Like I said, man, shout out to my brother, because this is easily upwards of a thousand plus worth of stuff that he just, just, here you go. You know what I'm saying? So I genuinely appreciate that. Shout out to my brother Jay, man. Thank you, thank you so much for this stuff. Um, I gotta go back to Walmart because I also have to wash the car. So everything we just did, I gotta do over again. But then I gotta get some trash bags and I realized that I didn't get a mirror any milk. So he probably needs that too. So we just gonna run back to Walmart, knock those things out. Um, probably gonna get that second cup of coffee man i ain't even gonna lie so we'll see but that's what's going on right now so i'm gonna holler at y'all in a second make sure you stay tuned so y'all we are back in walmart again it is the next day it is monday saturday sunday yesterday me and the mayor we just did a little bit of hanging but that was it and i came home and that's it Really came here to get some power tools for Amir. Like the little toys, cause he keep playing with my drill. And yesterday we went to um, Lowe's to get some drill bits, but I didn't think that Amir would have took to my drill the way that he did. So, oop, we gonna get him some little fake drills so he can play with those. And that is about it. No, That's we like need to on. walk and we have to check. Check what? If they have a dollar clearance section in the baby section. Oh yeah, there is supposed to be a dollar clearance section in the baby section. So we're going to check that out. And then we also need to get some noodles to go with the... You heard it? Uh-huh. Yeah. She just said in cap. Hey. <laughs> 
Y'all taught me didn't know what an end cap was, and it's so crazy. The only reason I know what an end cap is is because I worked at Food Lion and I worked at um, Fye. Which, for those of you who aren't old enough to know, Fye is an old CD store back when people used to buy CDs and DVDs. And if you don't know what a CD or DVD is, and I can't help you. But anyway. Anyway, yeah, she didn't know what it ankle I feel like you were trying to embarrass me, but I kept saying it. No, I had no idea that you didn't genuinely know what it was. I thought you were just ignoring me. That's why I kept saying it. So yeah, anyways, we doing a quick lap. Oh, hey, how's it going? I walk in the stadium some. Uh-huh. But not as much as I used to, because it's hot. Yeah, man. It's super hot. It is. The last thing you want to do is pass out in this heat. Imagine nobody will find me. I just be out there. Alright. Let me see what we got. So, yeah, Amir, here you go. Your first set of tools. Now you got tools like daddy. Yeah, man. I still want to find you a drill. The goal was a drill, but a hammer and all that stuff would work too. Let me tell y'all something, man. A lot of people be acting like they too good to shop at Walmart. And I'm always gonna make this speech, man. Cause your boy, I shop at Walmart. I buy clothes from Walmart for me. You know what I'm saying? So, of course we are looking for the kids and we are gonna find stuff for them too. Cause I'm you, I can go into the men's section right now and put together an outfit from Walmart. It'll be crazy. It looks like this has been ransacked. And I'm gonna link the old video so y'all can see. Where I have went to Walmart and put together an outfit and bam. So you know what I'm saying? Don't let people shame you if you shop at Walmart. You know, people like to get, Amir, Amir, Amir. Sorry y'all, Amir gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? People get all high and mighty and go to Target because Target look good. And we shop at Target a lot too, don't get it twisted. But Walmart has sleepers. Don't sleep on Walmart. But here's the deal. I feel like a lot, of, like some people shop at Target because it's cool now to shop at Target. I feel like majority of the time we went to Target was because it was at a convenience. Because we live right next to a Target. That's true. It's 100% true. with yourself, you can get everything you need at Walmart. So y'all, after a long day, these people are blocking the road. We can't get home. It's it stuck. like it was there. <laughs> Amir is on his last leg. He cr crashing. Oh man, I see what's going on. It's scraping the road. You see the trailer? Mm -hmm. It's scraping the road. It's a mere cry. All right, y'all. So we just got back to the crib. We made it officially signing out. Uh, but before I do, I just want to highlight y'all really quick about something, man. Um, make sure you out here paying attention, man. The most important thing that you can learn, you can watch, you can study, is people. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you do on a high level is gonna involve other people unless you go out in the wilderness or something like that. But if you're in corporate America, if you're an entrepreneur, whatever the case may be, you're gonna be dealing with other people. So the best thing that you can do is make sure that you're learning, studying, and understanding people. What motivates them, what drives them, what their ambitions are, and you know what their intentions are. Because I've just seen this Michael Orr story and I can't say I'm surprised. I can't say I didn't see this coming. But usually, um, I'm going to put it this way. So in the 48 Laws of Power, one of the laws of power is to despise the free lunch. And that's from Robert Greene. And so, you know, when people come to you and they just give you something for nothing out of the kindness of their heart, they usually have ulterior motives. So at that point, you have to decide, you know, if there's a benefit to you and how far you want to go along with it 
But, you know, people usually don't do things just to do them. You do have some people that have pure intentions, but, you know, for the most part, usually when people just come and offer you something and you just didn't do anything in return, they usually want something from you, which is fine. Again, I can't stress it enough. The biggest thing is just understanding where you fit in their chessboard, you know what I'm saying, what they want from you, and if you're willing to give that up. So on that note, I'm going to sign off, man. Can't wait to see y'all. Next week is very exciting because we're going to Philly. And so I got a lot of content for y'all coming up. Make sure you stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We'll holla at you. Yo, man, I just really wanted to give y'all a little something extra if you stay to the end of this video, man. So I appreciate you. I appreciate all that you do. Um, if you made it this far, do me a favor and just say, we got you, Kurt, or something like that in the comments so I can know that you stayed until the end. And if you did, you know what I'm saying, there may be something in it for you. I don't know. We'll see. But I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Like I always say, man, y'all taking time out of y'all days to rock with the kid, and you don't have to do that, and I appreciate that. So just drop a we got you, Kurt, or good job, or something just so we know. That, that special group that stayed to the end, I can show y'all some appreciation, all right?